and Dot from Active Edmonton. Today I'm joined by physiotherapist Cindy Grand. We're going to be talking about proper snow shoveling. So every year in the clinic I see at least one or two people who've come in with low back pain or low back problems after snow shoveling. And that low back injury can be something as simple as a low back sprain or strain or something more serious like a low back disc injury. And because I believe that prevention is the best medicine, we're going to talk about snow shoveling techniques and how to shovel snow without injuring your back. First of all, snow shoveling is a physical activity, and as such, a proper warm-up is necessary. So you want to resist the temptation to leap out of bed, into your snow pants, and outside to shovel snow. Make sure you're up and moving for a little bit before you start into an activity like this. First thing in the morning is when the low back discs are the most susceptible to injury. So after you've been up and moving for a little bit, then you want to make sure that you're getting dressed appropriately. So when muscles are cold, they're more likely to strain. You want to make sure you're keeping the muscles nice and warm. So it looks like we're both dressed fairly appropriately here. Um, if Dot had maybe some winter boots, that would be a little bit better for her feet. So now that we're all dressed and ready to go, we're going to do a little bit of a warm up for the muscles. So just swinging your arms, get the blood flowing in the arms. So then you want to just move your legs, do a little bit of a march on the spot to get the blood flowing in the legs. When the blood's flowing to the muscles, they're less likely to pull or strain. So it's important that we're warmed up that way as well. If it's a weekend or you have the time, walking around your neighborhood is a great way to get warmed up before you start snow shoveling. The next thing I want to talk about is the shovel itself. So this is a very plain shovel. It's quite lightweight though, so you're not lifting a lot of extra weight in the shovel itself. There's a lot of fancier shovels out there that have ergonomic handles, and I think these are great. You're just less tempted to bend forward with that type of shovel handle. If you don't have one of those though, you don't have to rush out and buy one. I'm going to show you the technique with the straight shovel, and the technique is the same no matter what kind of shovel you have. So now we're ready to shovel some snow. So Dot's going to demonstrate to us the incorrect way to shovel snow. So you can see right off the bat here that Dot is very bent forward here at her waist. This position is really tough on the low back. Go ahead and shovel from that position, Dot. And now she's doing the old lift and twist. So bending, lifting and twisting are three activities that are hard on the low back. And when you do them all at once like this, it becomes even harder for the low back to manage that kind of strain. So Dot will now show us the correct way to shovel snow. As you can see now, Dot is not so bent at the waist, she's bending her knees, and instead of lifting the snow, she's pushing the snow. So as she, when she gets to the end of the push, then she does the lift, and she does it with her legs rather than with her back. Dot's also being really careful to not get too much snow in the bucket of the shovel. So lots of times in Edmonton, we get the really heavy, wet snowfall. That kind of snow is really heavy, so you don't want to lift too much of it at once. Shoveling snow is a part of life in Edmonton. Lots of times in Edmonton, we get all of our snowfall all in one big dump. So if we've had a heavy snowfall like that, it's important to take breaks. So maybe you want to get the snow off of the front walk first and then take a little bit of a rest or a break before you do the back walk or the driveway. Well, excellent, Cindy. And I'm just about ready to have a break right now. So from Active Edmonton, thanks for joining us today.